listening to Risco and we're live on Represent Radio and right opposite me, a legend, a pioneer in the UK scene. He goes by the name of Young Few. How are you, bro? Yeah, man, I'm here, my boy. Yeah, I'm good day, yeah. Like, good day so far? Yeah, bro, the album just dropped today, okay. so it's just like... The first day of the album dropping is more like just taking it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I can't really... Like, I already know what I've put into it, of so course. it's just like let it be blessed now and just yeah. let it surf now you know what I mean is it nervous vibes or is it happy vibes is it what, what kind no, of no I love my best part is putting out the music yeah I love creating the music performing it but the time the music actually comes out to the world is like when of I like that bit the most alright we're gonna touch on your mixtape but first of all yeah we mm. don't mess around around here yeah let's get straight to business Go on. who brought the UK wave to the UK was it you? Bro, Was it someone else? I mean, it's like, you can't write history, innit? You can't mm. rewrite history and the streets know what people been saying, it, innit? You of know, course. when I was coming up to be Keep It 100, the first person that was doing melodic music that I know of, it was me and Naif at the time. You and Naif? Do you know what I mean? It is what it is. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. No disrespect to the other artists, like Big Up D, Block, Huncho, but you can't rewrite history, like, of course. it is what it is. So mm-hmm. the streets know it. And that's why I think my fan base is just like, people respect my thing and it's just core. Cool. you know what I mean? How was the reception back then? Because them eras, what, 016, 17? Yeah, it different It was era. largely on rap. Drill was picking up a little bit. Mm. So when you see guys like Young Fume, Nave Small start singing on trap beats, how did it get received? At first I got a lot of hate. I remember Sweet. it vividly, there was like, a lot of hate, a lot of hate. And then one song, Ami Weed Forest, yeah. That was like the first transition of people being like, this is actually kind of hard. Yeah. And I'm just basing it off comments and mm-hmm. just online stuff. But um, yeah, it was different, bro. Like for me, and even to this day, I'm, I still see myself as a pioneer in anything I do. I don't do anything for the narrative of what's hot. Mm-hmm. I do what I want to do. Of course. You know what I mean? So and I've always been like that. You've been in the game eight years deep now, which is yeah. crazy. You've lived through so much yeah. errors, yeah. cruddy drill, mainstream drill, now 90s UK rap. Yeah. What's yeah. your secret to staying relevant? Uh, Just stay true to yourself, man. Do you know what I mean? Stay true to yourself, bro. Like like you said, I've seen a lot of artists come bigger than me, smaller than me, come and go. Mm-hmm. And you see with my thing, it's just been growing and growing and growing and growing. It's like steadily, slowly but surely. And like I said, when you got like real music, the fan base is different to when you have like hit. Of course. That's just gone viral. That's just a trend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My thing is organic and pure. So it's like, I would just say, Stay true to yourself, stay true to the music. 100. You know what I mean? Over your eight year tenure, you've had the privilege of collabing with US rapper Lil Durk twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did that yeah. do to your career? Did it elevate it? Yeah, for sure, man. I think that, for me, that was the moment of like solidifying what I've built and the foundation I've built and the mm-hmm. direction that I wanted to put myself in. That was like, not so crosses for that project was like solidifying that. Like, yeah, this is what I've built. I'm here to stay. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, of it, course. it meant a lot. Still big up that. And we spoke about career elevation. How do you think your place in the game right now? Overrated, underrated, underappreciated? What's your outlook? Mm, Where are you? Um, I don't, I'll be honest. I don't like the word underrated because I feel like underrated is basically essentially everyone's take on what is rated because if you're saying i'm underrated that you you essentially rate me mm-hmm. you're just what makes me underrated then if you're saying you rate me but i'm underrated so my take on it is just like everyone's in their own lane yeah it's all smoke and mirrors and it's not what you think it is like i'm fully independent i've never Crazy. had major backing so you know a lot of things ain't gonna be to the high masses because i haven't got high masses behind me and a lot of artists that let's quote unquote i'm in competition with in the game are signed to major labels and Mm -hmm. are getting major backing when they're doing their releases so things are going to look a bit different yeah but my thing's just organic bro so i can't be more like just blessed of course you know what i mean cool man we just touched on the past but we're going to touch on the present right after this one this is my story by young fume yeah just play that was young fume with my story playing right now for you on represent radio and today i'm joined by 
UK wave rap legend Young Fume and the Fumiverse dropped today. Yeah. To yeah, you, yeah. how is it sounding? Crazy man, no skips. No skips. That's that's. If you wanna ask me what's to sum it up, no skips. Mm-hmm. What do you want people to take from the Fumiverse? Uh, maturity, growth, always better on yourself production level appreciate creativity like appreciate like uk artists that got art and creativity and got good music and good passion and sometimes let's not always appreciate numbers and clout that's yeah. that's not some, that's my statement for the puma verse you mentioned that you're independent mm. how is it trying to pull up with a 20 track mixtape all by yourself linking up with different producers different artists like how is it doing it all by yourself time consuming tiring it's pretty, no, I, uh, truth be told, man, I love it, man. Yeah. I love it. I'll be honest. Like, it's my passion. And I, sometimes I tell myself, is it, do I need to, you know, pull back and let some. But I got a team, don't get me wrong. It's not just yeah. me and by myself. I got a good team. But um, yeah, it gets time consuming, but it's my passion. So I love yeah. it. This tape is following Noughts and Crosses too. Yeah, How have you yeah. progressed as an artist since then, musically, production wise? How have you upped it? Um, just I think with this album it's depth not just making songs having songs with meaning and depth yeah I think that's how I've upped my levels just real yeah. songs with depth and meaning yeah you've collabed with the likes of Quenkface in the past I'm talking about Noughts and Crosses 2 yeah, yeah. Fizzler Nave Smalls and whatnot. can we expect you to continue collabing with UK artists or are you going to kind of strip back and just focus on making music for yourself yeah so for the listeners on the Fumiverse yeah um, shout out Oz mm-hmm. he's a UK artist he's on there yeah and another UK artist called City Boy he's on the come up City also Boy Mo. He, uh, just city boy, city boy, just, just city, city boy, boy. Okay. and then a US artist called Culture. So it's just, I like to just network, you know. Mm-hmm. For me, we're like UK, US, Spanish, it doesn't matter. Okay, as a UK rapper in the game, how is the UK rapper scene right now amongst UK rappers? Like, is it is there a lot of pocket watching? Is there a lot of stream watching? A lot of judging? Is it a lot of like, oh my man's got this much streams, I ain't gonna make a tune with him more? Is it just cool? Or you don't really care about. I would. I, truth be told, bro, I wouldn't know, man. I stay in my own lane, bro. Like, mm. remember, I'm not. Like I said, I'm not signed. I'm not. I, I I know those industry circles and that, but I'm not. I stay in my own lane. It's just me, my team, and I do what I'm doing. So I'm not. I don't pay that any mind, yeah. to be honest. You know. And you've dropped near enough a project or two every single year for the last year, or year or couple years, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. What drives you to be so consistent, man? My passion. Your passion. I feel like this to separate me from a lot of artists. Mm-hmm. I ain't in it just to make a quick buck. The money will come. Like, money comes and goes. Mm-hmm. This is my passion, and I've been doing this. Like, like I said, you can't rewrite history. Of course. Go and look on YouTube. It's out there. Few months has been out here. So yeah, yeah it's my we passion. need to know what dro- what drove you to do music. Was it like other family members you were listening to music around them, and they kind of gave you the love and the passion, or was it friends? Like, what made you step in the booth? It was my big brother, probably. Yeah, mm-hmm. like he used to have a small studio set up back in the days, and just being around that environment probably much led me to be like, I want to try something. Yeah, yeah. And then doing that. I caught wind of it and it was like, yeah, this is fun. Mm-hmm. And that was at a young age, I'm talking like 12, maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice one, man. All right, yeah. cool. Let's, let's play this next one, man. This is Police playing right now for you on Represent Radio. Just played, that was Police by Young Fume. And listen, sounding cold, bro. No, I appreciate it. Jumpy. Bro, I appreciate but I gotta ask you, yeah, if you weren't doing music, mm. if money wasn't a thing, what would you what would you be like would you still follow your passion do music like if music wasn't thing no money at all what would your job be basically uh low-key football like i was big on football before music in my early teens football acting yeah i've done that at an early age i was doing auditions and stuff okay just a creative man i think just anything in the creative genre because mm-hmm. yeah i'm just a creative person yeah were you sick at football and that mad thing mad thing mad thing so what you dropped the, the the football to focus on the music yeah like it wasn't necessarily the music it was other stuff mm-hmm. but football i was i didn't go semi-pro or nothing i was doing sunday league yeah, yeah but i was at that 
point where I was getting scouted and stuff at the oh, Sunday nice. leagues, you know what I mean? Yeah, and it's yeah. like, I just ended up leaving it. Um, you, you mentioned that like, you're always in the booth. When Young Fume isn't in the studio, isn't making music, what are you getting up to? You're just watching TV, going to the gym, like? I'm abroad, man. I like traveling. Honestly, I do like traveling. Oh, is it? Where, where you been recently? Um, most recent, I was in Barcelona. Nice. Um, but How yeah, was bro. Barcelona? What, what was he getting up to? Was it? I, I've always wanted to go. I was personally doing a music video over there. Okay. But I always go out there. They got like coffee shop now. Mm. Um, just, just got vibes over there. Do you know nice. what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, I just like traveling and yeah, just chilling, bro. Just chilling. Gaming. Do you know mm. what I mean? Like, cool. like your average person. Yeah, man. yeah. Uh, final question to you is what advice would you give to any upcoming artist making music follow follow what your heart and what you want to do and and don't overthink and look at the internet and kind of think that's what you have to do just do what you want to do, do, you, know? Wanna do yeah. you know what i mean young fume thank you so much for coming through Appreciate today man my bro i'm about to play jungle do you have anything to tell the listener Let's get it. It's your boy Fumos. The Fumiverse is out now. Best album of 2023. Go stream that now. Let's get it, man.